Hey everybody, welcome back to Detective Pikachu. We're in the back room. We're in the investigating the lab in the back. All right, Pikachu. Let's actually let's 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 go see what Rachel's got to say for herself. This room feels different from the others. What kind of experiments have been going on here? Oh, well, we're here to find out. Let's look at this board first. There's definitely a picture of you, Pikachu. Got your hat and everything. What the heck? What the heck does all this mean? Let's take a look at this, see if there's anything else. I see. Hmm, Murloc seriously trying to creep me out. Keeping pictures of me and Pikachu posted up in, the, in this room. What's up with that? That is disgusting. Not to mention stealing Dad's body, keeping it somewhere in this building. Uh, the fact that he's got these photos of uh, yeah, uh, Harry, Pikachu right next to each other. Makes me wonder if Merlock's already figured it out. Figured out what? That my consciousness is in Pikachu's body. No way. If not, then why has he been targeting me so so persistently? I can barely read what's written here. Meteorite, Aurora Drop, Human. What I can make out? Hmm. It does seem like the energy of the meteorites is pretty important. No, but Two zero zero one two two, and one seven zero six zero eight. Hmm. Pretty careless of him to display door pass code so prominently. What a fucking idiot! I was wondering about the number we haven't used yet. That could possibly also be a pass code, but I can't say for what. Sure. Hmm. Say, Murloc really has figured out your secret, Pikachu. Is what is he planning to do with you after he's captured you? I guess it's a good man. Let's head down to B5. And uh, look for my, I mean, Harry's body. Seeing it up close might help us figure all this out. So, hmm. A weird feeling about this lab, Tim. Give it a thorough search. Right. Hmm. Okay, where should we start looking? Look at this. This document written here by Mayor Myers. The title is Coexistence Plan for Rhyme City. It also says confidential. Uh, it looks like it contains a schedule disturb uh, distributing cubes throughout the city. This is a mayor who would like to make an announcement about the cubes on the last day of Pokemon Friendship Week. Guess that sells it then. This revolutionary device has been making news lately. Definitely the cubes. The draft of his speech is in here too. I'll read it. Citizens of Rhyme City, allow me to once again express my plans for a mutual home. I am to foster a city in which people and Pokemon can live together in peace and safety. For many of you, the R incident two years ago was an unexpected hardship. I assure you, no one knows that hardship better than I do. With Rhyme City and arrogant, but. Rhyme City will not stop moving forward. As a testament to our commitment to mutual coexistence between people and Pokemon, I have created a truly revolutionary device. And so on this last day of Pokemon Friendship Week, it is an honor to finally unveil to you the Friendship Cube. Papa, by Friendship Cube, does he mean Control Cubes? Why don't just put him in a fucking Pokeball? God damn it. Right, he's planning to distribute these cubes and control Pokemon all over the city. Can't let him deliver the speech he's got planned. The document titled Shutting Down Fusion Machine. Fusion Machine? What kind of machine is that? No idea. It says something about Bill and a Clefairy in here? I can't really read it. To shut down the machine in the event of emergency, remove the power cable. Is that it? Yeah, that's all it says. Judging from the messy writing, whoever joined down must have been in a hurry. More of a memo of that document if you ask me. What this? Hmm. This voice recorder also belongs to Malok? Yeah. It matters important information. Let's give it a listen after this. Okay. Hmm. Some kind of experiment report. Read it to us, Tim. The experiment was a failure. 
To make the two become one, the proper balance of energy is absolutely critical. Too much or too little will result in failure. Making adjustments will be difficult but necessary. But I can do this. I know I can do this. Only I can make two become one. Two become one? You trying to fuse two things together? The proper balance of energy is absolutely critical. He's literally underlined the part of emphasis. Hey. I don't see anything particularly curious about it. These papers are completely covered in sloppy scribbles, scribbled equations. They look uh, complicated. Yeah, this means absolutely nothing to me. Hey. Looks like there's nothing else to investigate here. Maybe we should listen to his voice recorder? Definitely. Or three tracks on it. Which one do you want to hear? Research data, I guess. Mm -hmm. One research data. Let's hear it. Nothing. Report subject. Research data. Approximately six months prior to the R incident, I discovered a method of linking the minds of humans and Pokemon. This would make it possible to control Pokemon as we please. I'm certain this is the greatest discovery of the century. But it was not possible at that stage of my research to make my hypothesis a reality. More information was required. Since then, I've searched relentlessly for the missing piece of the puzzle. Until at last, I found it in the research that Emma had previously conducted. She called my research dangerous, insisted that I stop, but that was no concern of mine. I took the first opportunity to scour the research facility, but by that point, Emma's data was nowhere to be found. Jessica did this. I will stop at nothing to find Jessica and retrieve the data she took. What? Yeah, Jessica targeted and Emma's data stolen. So he could work on his new research. It's so awful. Hey. Which recording do you want to listen to? Find Jessica, I guess. Report subject, finding Jessica. I had not expected Pikachu and his allies to show up in Bamboo Borough. Nevertheless, we did manage to find Jessica and retrieve the research data. Now that the last piece of the puzzle is in my possession, my research is finally complete. With this data, I can conduct simulations of linking minds. I don't... It's a kids game, but like, like why would <laughs> he just put all this incriminating evidence on this <laughs> single? <laughs> it's, uh, I don't know. I feel like I feel like perhaps the writers were slightly handicapped by this being a you know a, a, a child's game as well as something else that they wanted to create. I feel a lot of the writing seems this way. Proving my hypothesis. I did it. I finally did it. To become one. That is the answer. To become one. This is definitive proof that my hypothesis was correct. I wish I could have shown this to Emma and Jessica. <laughs> you can still show it to Jessica. Cubes are nothing more than toys now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, he's got evil. <laughs> Mid recording. <Aww. laughs> That's fantastic. Oh god. Using my mom researches to his own ends. What's wrong with this man? I couldn't agree more. Murdoch's trying to make something wor even worse with these cubes. Yeah, we gotta stop it. Hey. Which corner you wanna listen to? Oh, well, it's not any of them. We're done. Sounds is unhinged. He was getting awful excited by the thought of achieving whatever his dream was. According to him, the cubes are just toys compared to whatever he was cooking on that cooking up now. I wonder if man is even aware of this. Looks up to. 
Although we, we slide, we still don't know. But at least we have a better idea of why Jessica was targeted. Right. Take a moment to digest all the information. Make some deductions. Okay, let's start deducing. All right, let's finish looking at this room first, shall we? Looks like an experiment according to equipment. Experiment. Seems like he was mixing two uh, substances together. Can't tell what kind of experiments he was doing. But this is alone, though. Is that the only thing left to talk about in here? Oh, let's move it. Whoopsie daisy. Alright. Let's do this flowchart. Hmm. What is this? Why did you just go after Jessica? They needed the research Jessica Jessica had. Wasn't that okay. fucking obvious? Didn't we already know that? Like, I don't... Jessica had Emma's research data. That's why she was targeted. Emma data used... Data used to research something other than the cubes. Not a bad feeling about this. Oh, we're running out of space on this notes flowchart. Murloc is waiting. Willing to do whatever it takes to pursue his research. We gotta do something. Hey, got a moment? Yes. What is it? I think we should organize our findings so far. Yeah, let's lay it out. Okay. Hmm. Got a lot of info to pick over. But as much as clear, three people in the center of this mystery. Howard, Murloc, and Emma. Those, those three are closely connected to Unitas. Unitas. I wish they picked an easier word to say. I don't like it. Yeah, but they each had different goals. Let's think a bit more on these people. And how's your intention? Hmm. Howard's trying to have these cubes attached to Pokemon around city. After hearing that recording, um, I at least kind of understand where he's coming from. He wants to protect Rachel, make sure something in the R incident never happens. He's got good intentions, but the methods are way off the mark. We have to convince him of that somehow. Hmm. But our goal was continuing his research no matter what. Even if he went to stealing Emma's research so he could advance his own. We don't know exactly what his research what is researching, but I think it's safe to assume. It's nothing good. You said something about simulations of linking minds? I think that's the only way we're going to find out more about this Murloc itself. <sighs> the goal of Emma's research was mutual understanding between humans and Pokemon. She, summed, she seemed to be trying to create a society where humans and Pokemon could peacefully coexist. Because that doesn't exist anywhere else in the world, you know? She sounded like she had a good heart. But now Murloc using Emma's research data. Right. Data that was so dangerous, she tried to steal it away. The Unitas Project, no, oh, sorry, we're seeing now is nothing like the Unitas Project Emma was part of. Hmm. And we've seen all about there is to see on this floor. We could head down to the next floor. We're getting, not getting any of our key cards. Right. We didn't even find one in the lab. It doesn't seem like there's anywhere else to look. Uh, for now, let's head on and join the others. Maybe we'll, we'll uncover something new. Okay. Come on, Rach. We're out of here. Mm -hmm. Hmm. What is it? I hear someone talking up ahead. Above. Why is there a hole here? Well, it's a really big <laughs> hole. Oh no! Hey, sweet! He dropped his they key dropped card. The card key! <laughs> okay! That's the dumbest shit! <laughs> okay, that's fine. <laughs> wow! Wow! Way to go, Grab Pagro! Don't bust out the pie hats just yet. Some of units bound to show up any second. According to that floor map, there's stairs on the other side of the door, right? We gotta move on, Tim. Right. Right, quick, we better get a move on. This is the up, right? 
Oh no, it's a down. This is the down. All right, off we go. Okay. Now we can finally get to the bottom floor. Just gotta open this key card and wait, damn it, here's no get back. It explodes. Huh? Oh no. Huh? What do you think you're doing here? Whoa! Run for it! Hey, wait! Stop! The, yeah, that's because that's never worked. <laughs> the pangro just crush their skulls or something, dude. Just like whack them. Hey, why'd you stop? <laughs> bye bye. What'd you say? Growlith, no! <laughs> What are you doing? Foot! Pikachu! Growl is buying us some time. I'll come back for you, I swear! <laughs> okay. Oh man, Growl. See, I told you, man. I always fucking do Growl for a stand up guy. What a fucking cool dude. Or well, managed to get away from you was thanks to Growlithe, fortunately. Can't go any further with those crates blocking the way. Just to force our way through. Bruh? That's right, you're up, Duramitan. Bruh. What is this? What is this? Why would you even stack crates like that? Alright, we made it through. We should reach the elevator and keep going straight this way. That was very funny. Uh -huh. Still wide open. We're running out of time. We're running out of time. I see those humans getting closer. If I, if I can't break the door like this. You gotta be on a way to open the door, right? Did you? What about the switchboard? Aha! We can probably force the door open if we run electricity current through the switchboard. Guess that's my cue. Huh? But they all gonna sacrifice themselves one by one. We like Oh no. We fucking shown in this. We do it one at a time. The sack strap. Thank you. Rachel and Luxray seem to have a on, have a go. actual kind of a relationship, don't they? Pikachu! I know it's so goofy. I know it's so goofy, but I am like legitimately invested. I think R Rachel and Luxray should absolutely uh, become a team. Uh, Sorry, Luxray. Let's go, Bigger Joe. Uh, yeah. Uh, we'll come back for him and Growlithe when it's all over. Growlithe's probably already dead, but that's okay. Hang on till then, you two. Punch these crates. Why they store them like this, I'll never know. The mystery even me, the great detective Pikachu, will never find out. Perfect. Okay, at this point, all that's left is to take the elevator to the bottom floor. Thanks to you two. Made this far, the Ram Tan. We really appreciate it. No, thank you. It felt awesome getting the help out of you. I want to thank you too. Oh my god, they all have such similar voices. You're giving me a chance to repay my debt to you. Hey, cut it out. You're acting like this is goodbye. We still gotta get to the bottom floor and deal, deal with and for all we know. But we're really getting into what the fuck? I'm gonna read that one again from the start. <laughs> we still got, we still got the bottom floor to deal with, and for all we know, that there's, that's where it'll be real get hairy. Oh my god, what the hell? Can I read this sentence? We're skipping it. I can't. I, I cannot. <laughs> I cannot handle that sentence apparently. Right. True. Okay, everyone. Into the elevator we go. Oh no. You 
you're not planning to stay behind too. Um, uh... Well, actually, I feel like I could use one of you. I feel like if one of you should come with us, maybe Pangaro should Pikachu! come with us. Wait, you can't! You guys. Pikachu. Rachel, press the button. Press the button. B5. Press. Oh, it was on my side. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't realize. We finally made it. Yeah. And that means it's possible Mayor Myers is just ahead. Hey, don't worry about me. Rachel. Murloc may have fooled my father, but we're about to prove what a crook he really is. That's right. Uh. Hey, hey. What about my body? Oh, don't you worry. We haven't forgotten. Oh, well, okay then. Oh my god. It really 100% is. It's Bill's machine. Except it's got like a hey, whole bunch of look. Final Fantasy VII shit around it. It's dead! We finally found me! Well, we finally made it to the bottom floor. Just hope everyone in the back upstairs is still okay. They'll be alright. We've seen how capable they are of finding themselves for now. Let's just focus on getting through to your dad. Right. I hear someone up ahead. <laughs> Someone's humming. Hey, look up there. Is that who I think it is? Yeah. <laughs> Murloc. He's right there. It probably means Howard's here too. You know what to do, Tim. Get that gun I give you. <laughs> Fucking shoot this prick. <laughs> yeah. I've got to convince that man to stop this plan they're working on. And to do that, we need to expose Murloc and prove what they're really up to. Sure. But at this point, maybe you should just push him off the edge. Howard's likely dead set on seeing his vision through. Even if you blow Murloc's plot wide open, that might not change enough to convince Howard to change his mind. I know, but you gotta try. Rachel and Howard. For the Pokemon of Ram City. And for you both. Both of you. Thanks, Tim. Alright, let's do this. Yeah. Let's do it next time. That's right, one final cliffhanger. This could be the very end of the game. So, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys are all enjoying it. And I'll see you next time for the finale. Bye-bye.